I have a very weird, lasting problem I'd love your help with. For what some... is it, Kathy? Tell me. <laughs> I have many problems with this. This is from one of our, our viewers. Um, what is it? Tell me. <laughs> for some reason, this, he only climaxes during sex. He's never been able to climax during masturbation or oral sex, even in t as a teenager. Um, but once he penetrates someone, he's lucky if he lasts eight strokes before he finishes. Oh, okay. Um, he's heard he's tried methods of masturbating for hours and kind of trying to delay your climax, but mm -hmm. masturbation does nothing for him. I was wondering if you had any advice you'd recommend for this. Awesome. Kathy Vartilli from the IntimacyDojo.com. Read Mahalka from ReadAboutSex.com. We love when you write in your yeah. questions. It gives us lots of good stuff to talk about. Um, so, we're not doctors, nor do we play doctors on the internet. So, sometimes I think you should go, if you feel comfortable with your whoever you're seeing as a physician, go and check and just make sure there's not any kind of medical things. Uh, also understand, for this is more advice overall, if you're on any kind of medication or you've been getting some sort of treatment for something, that can also make achieving orgasm very difficult. And you just want to kind of like do your due diligence and just check those two boxes first. Mm -hmm. And then we start to now get into the realm of just, you know, emotions and, and your psychological approach yeah. or ideas of sex. And then also just skill set stuff. Yeah. Well, this, this occurs to me that there might be an erotic component. So that there's sensuality, which is the physical mm -hmm. sensation, which is not, I mean, there's, there, it's somewhat different between penetration and oral, but it's not, there's not a lot of difference there generally. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, this, there's still a lot of stimulation. It's very different. <laughs> Who are I, you? <laughs> I'm trying to say there's a lot of stimulation there. For both of them, there's a lot of sensation for both of them. Uh -huh. Whereas erotically, if someone's in their head, makes it mean a, that it's a lot more hot to have penetration. Sure. So like maybe my it, point actually, it, if you want to pick on me, but it's actually a good point. Yeah, uh, if if a raspy just getting over a cold <laughs> voice does it for you, <laughs> then this video is adding something. Kathy's voice is adding yeah. something erotically to, to the sex. That you're you're uh, uh, experiencing sen uh, sensation-wise. Yeah. So there's the physical sensation yeah. of penetration or oral or masturbation. There's a lot of the nerves are getting stimulated for all three of those mm -hmm. very much, even in slight. They are different ways, um, but erotically in your brain, it may be that your brain doesn't think it's really hot to have oral sex. Just or a blowjob, but right. a, but a blowjob from Batman, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> Um, so one thought I had is if you like you're only lasting eight strokes, what if you found someone who likes to play that way where you can do two strokes and then do some oral sex or two strokes and they masturbate, they, mm -hmm. they do some hand work and just kind of help your brain anchor really good pr feelings with penetration, and, like go back and yeah. forth. So the other, okay, so now, now let's, let's geek out here, right? So well, we weren't before. Well, no, but I'm like, now I'm getting into like, we're going to break this down mode. So we've got what's erotic, yep. and maybe it's just erotic to be fucking someone, yeah. right? Then there's the kind of sensation that's happening when you're penetrating somebody, right? Like, so for me, you know, fucking a, a vagina feels tremendously different than fucking an ass. And sensation-wise, I don't really come ever from, from fucking somebody's ass. Just because it doesn't, it, it's not the kind of sensation that my penis likes to get off. Yeah. If that makes any sense, right? I'm still, you know, I'm still fucking something, yeah. but it's not, it's, it's just different. Yeah. And that's not so much, and, and maybe it's a little bit of it's erotic, but as a nerd, I can be like, okay, so let's put the erotic to the side and like, I'm just dealing with the sensation. Right. That's all. Yeah. But for somebody else, Oh my God, you're letting me fuck your ass is so hot. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the sensation is. So when you start breaking things down from this perspective, also taking into consideration that masturbating, you're touching yourself. Yeah. So the biofeedback is just very different sensation wise than when somebody else is giving you a hand job. This, yep. What I'm curious about is as, a, as somebody who knows that they come and, and comes very quickly in this scenario, 
from penetrating a vulva, I want to know what your experience is masturbating with a fleshlight. Either a fleshlight or there's a masturbation sleeve called Blue It. Those two I would recommend for you to experiment on because they feel very close to what penetrating uh, a pussy feels like in my experience. I mean, they're different, but it's, it's a lot closer than getting a blow job. And the way that they're made, there's a little, there's some cushion because there's, a, they're about, you know, three or four inches in diameter, the part that you're fucking. So there's that kind of, you can, you can hump it and grind it. Um, whereas other masturbation sleeves, it's really like you, you, you're using your hand to squeeze mm. the sleeve. And I wouldn't recommend that for this experiment. Um, if you have the money to buy a flashlight uh, or a blue it, I would say get one. And then when you try it, use lube, but take the, the squishy part out of the container and soak it in body temperature hot water for like five minutes and let it get body temperature. Then tell me what you got going on because I'm really curious it, how the sensation tracks. Yeah. And if you can come using a flashlight or blue it, um, then you can practice humping it and trying to learn how not to ejaculate too quickly. Yeah. This is about breathing. This is about different body positions. This is about you know you starting to practice now how to um, learn ejaculation control. And if uh, that's something I talk a little bit about, or a lot about in some ways, in my Sex 10X online course, which you can go check out at uh, www.sex10xonline.com. Did you want to add anything um, um, just, or advice as, as a receiver? Um, I think just if you talk to your partner about it, that you want to try different things and, you know, just penetrating twice and then either touching yourself or having her touch you. Just kind of changing the, the, the energy around might mm -hmm. be really curious. It might be really fun for both of you and allow you to associate that turn on with other things. Yeah, and if it's erotic too and you have a partner to, to practice with, um, try, this is going to sound so weird, but, but when you wrap your head around it. So for me, I'm not really into, into asses. Right. Like I like butts, but I'm not like into ass fucking. So me jerking off with somebody's ass right there isn't like, oh yeah. However, I'm really into pussy, so if I'm jerking off and your vagina's right there and I'm like, yeah, like, oh my goodness, my brain is going nuts. Um, so for your practicing with masturbation, if you have a, a willing partner to lie there and be like, hello, welcome, here's my vulva. And I'd like you to look at it while you masturbate. See if that helps you yeah. get over the edge. And now we're just kind of mapping out different things that are working yeah. and those Venn diagrams where you're looking for the overlap. Um, there's a lot in this video. It's already getting long, but um, start there and yeah. then write back to us and let us know how it goes. We'd Good luck. Know. Yeah. Thanks so much for being vulnerable and sharing your questions.